Anyway, we're international now. I spoke fluently on the badge to a Spanish man. I was having a quiet drink in Spain in a bar and a man walked behind me like that. I thought, it's not like that. I'm not having... Whoa, we did it again. I said, stop it. He said, this is a tapas bar. <laughs> Check his pulse. If you don't like live comedy, then go somewhere else. It's not my fault you're here. Work a bit harder. Go to Dubai like I do. Meet some people. I upset a lady. I was on the uh, M5 going up to the Midlands and I stopped to one of those little thief restaurants and um, <laughs> the waitress came over. She said something about the wait. I said, that's all right, you'll lose it. <laughs> I'm on dodgy ground here and I know thin line, thin line. I know I lost my weight. I, lost, I keep, I try. You've got to keep fit. Don't go to the gym. It's quite pretentious to be do it out of a rowing machine for the house. It's brilliant, it's got no oars, I just sit and drift. <laughs> I get up every morning, punch the bag, she gets up, makes a cup of tea, I up. <laughs> don't upset the ladies, that's what we don't do. That's the first rule of comedy, which is what this normally is, is never to upset the ladies because we all know the ladies are the stronger sex. We all know there's a lot of men who wouldn't be able to survive on this planet without the love of a good woman. I'm right, aren't I? Yeah. We just walk around aimlessly, not knowing where we are, with no money, and the ladies... Because you can multitask, girls, can't you? That's why men can't do that. My nan can multitask. She can sneeze and pee herself at the same time. <laughs> I think I've touched a nerve there with some of you, haven't I? It's the age thing frightens me now. I mean, you get ill, I worry. I've had these bloody green marks develop on the inside of my legs. I went to see the ship's doctor today. He said, tell your girlfriend her earrings aren't real gold. <laughs> a little man, he was in the doctor's like that. He came out like that. I said, it's a bloody miracle. What did he do? He said, he'd give me a bigger stick. Inevitable, the age, it kicks in and the ladies get old beautifully and gracefully men because who has the senior moments? Who has them? You can't even remember, most of you lot. You're going up the stairs, some bugger talks, you can't remember if you're going up or coming down. You go into a room, you think, what the f what have I come in here for? I tie my shoelaces now, see if there's anything else I can do while I'm down there. Struggling with that bed in the car, it's like sleeping on a bloody Kit Kat, isn't it? That... <laughs> Dave and Dory next door to me, she did not read the sign, Dory, and it says above the laboratorial system, do not flush whilst seated. <laughs> it's funny going in, mate. Dory didn't read the sign, she flushed, she got sucked in. Imagine she said, Dave, that's her husband. Dave, I'm attacked by my Harris. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sucked in. <laughs> but, Dave had to run to the bathroom. <laughs> They're in a suite. What's happened, my little nest of scorpions? I'm, <laughs> I'm attached, I'm sucked in. Well, I'll have to go and get the ship's engineer, but he can't see. <laughs> I can't even hold that for too long. <laughs> I'm sucked in by my... Well, I'll have to get up. <laughs> I'll have to get the ship's engineer, but he can't see me like this naked. Give me your hat. So she's sitting there with Dave's I Love Venice baseball cap. <laughs> Ship's engineer turns up, he said, bloody hell mate, he's not going to save your wife, but the bloke in the hat, he's nagging. <laughs> oh, 
have I not laughed yet? It's <laughs> Alright, it says comedy on the thing. Comedy. Comedy. Four comedy awards. Four. Um, and this is all second place me. I've just signed a new contract with Sky TV. Yeah. Right, 39 quid. I've got all the movie channels. All the <laughs> 